almost ready. Just gotta finish braiding my hair really fast. How's my mustache? Good? All right. What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? India Jama Jones here, and today we are going to review the Impala Roller Skate. What's up you guys? So today I am doing an Impala roller skate review and truth be told, this is probably the number one question that I have ever had in the history of Planet Roller Skate. Like you guys really, really wanna know what I think about this skate and this brand and I am excited to finally be getting this review out to you guys. In this episode, I am going to focus only on the product alone. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think about it, my experience in this skate and what you should know before you buy. So be sure to watch this review all the way through because there's a lot of helpful information that will help you make a good decision in your roller skate purchase. Before we get going, I just want to stress the importance of purchasing your skates from a skater owned retailer like planetrollerskate.shop. We have all of the resources and knowledgeable customer service team available to you to help you troubleshoot if you ever do have any issues with your skates. We also act as a liaison between the skaters and these big brands so that we can tell them what you guys really want and need and changes that we see that need to happen. So um, whether you buy from planetrollerskate.shop or another skater owned retailer just keep that in mind when you're making your purchase and uh, you know even if it's not free shipping on amazon prime know that you are purchasing like a real service with your skates i also just want you guys to know that no brand is paying me for this review it is 100 percent honest yes we do carry this skate on our site but we only carry skates based on what our customers want and what we believe will bring value to the future of the beautiful roller skating world so quick overview of this Impala skate. These come in at $99 to $120. They come in lots of different colors and they really tap into current fashion trends and what's popular in mainstream culture. So they have a really fun Volt green skate out now. They have a holographic skate, a Marowa rose gold skate, coral, white, aqua so there's lots of colors and i'm excited to see what other colors they will put out in the future impalas come in women's sizes 1 through 10 and select colorways even go to 11 12 13 and even sometimes a women's 14. so not only do you have a lot of different colors but they have full size ranges these skates are made in china but the factory that makes these skates has passed a very very strict certification system so the same factory actually makes disney licensed products which means disney actually sends people in there to make sure that there is no child labor no forced labor and that everybody there is getting fair living wages the boot is PETA approved vegan it has a uh, padded interior for comfort. It also has the, uh, I believe this is called a rolled cuff for comfort. Um, and it also has these hooked lacing things at the top here that make it easy to lace and tighten your boot when you're putting it on. On the bottom of the skate, we have an aluminum plate, a bolt-on toe stop, soft outdoor wheels, and bearings that are ready to roll right out of the box. So visually, everything looks really good, but for $99, I'm still skeptical. Whenever you are considering purchasing a lower price point skate, the thing that you really need to ask yourself is, is this functional? Like, is it going to roll? And is it going to be safe? I have about seven years of serious skate experience, and in that time, I have purposefully skated on a lot of really sketchy skates a sketchy skate to me is a skate that doesn't have wheels that roll so if you pull it out of the box and even after adjusting the nut if the wheels still don't roll that's a little questionable um sometimes these skates have hard plastic wheels instead of actual urethane so that when you try to push to stride your feet slip out from under you and sometimes really really cheap skates will the the truck will bend so much that the wheel actually touches your boot and makes you go to a complete stop that's pretty scary so to me those are indicators of an unsafe skate that i would not recommend these are the skates that are sold at kmart walmart target your local sporting goods store the big box sporting goods store these are the skates you really should watch out for 
When I finally tried the Impala Escape for myself, I must say that I was pleasantly surprised. I was able to roll down my street. I have since then worn them in the rink for several hours at a time. I have worn them um, street skating for several hours at a time. I did my best to try to make the wheel touch the plate, but I couldn't. I stopped fast and the brakes worked just fine. I felt safe putting my full force behind my stopping and behind my sprinting when I went forward. The plate itself has good maneuverability, so I felt like I could turn and carve. It has all the functionality that I would recommend to a beginner skater. And I think that's the key. Whenever you're buying a $99 skate, you really got to bring your expectations to the $99 level. And what that means is you are absolutely going to sacrifice comfort, quality, and durability in purchasing this skate over a mid or higher price point skate. If you are an experienced skater, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly from skating these skates that they aren't the most quality parts. You can just feel that the performance isn't quite there. The thing that you really need to be concerned about before you purchase these skates is the durability. As far as durability goes, these skates do come with a three month warranty, but because the boot is synthetic, it does break down quickly. So if you plan on doing any sort of like aggressive or rigorous skating, there's a good chance that this boot will not last you very long. Now there have been some reports online of the heel ripping off of the skate right here. And sometimes that's happening before the three month mark. And that's one of the big reasons that we wanted to wait a while before we did the review for these skates, because we wanted to give you guys as much information about them as possible. Like we've seen these reports online, um, but on our end in the past year that we've been selling skates, we've only had two instances of people having issues with the skate ripping. Um, our friends at the Moxie Skate Shop have only had two instances. And also our friends at Wicked Skatewear have only had two instances. So as far as we can tell in relation to how many skates are actually sold, the ones with defects are not that many. Um, but with that being said, there have absolutely been reports of the skate ripping. Um, I actually just got off the phone with Impala, the company themselves, and they let me know, starting with the coral, the material is thicker, um, which I actually did notice with this skate, and um, the heel is reinforced. So hopefully that problem has been fixed. Um, again, if you buy from a skate retailer, please let us know if you are having these problems, and then we can make sure we communicate it to these brands. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear if you've had Impala roller skates, how long they've lasted you and how often you skate in them, because I think that would be really good information for anybody planning to buy these skates. As far as comfort goes, I've skated in these for up to three or four hours at a time, both in the black version and the holographic version. Um, I didn't get any blisters or anything. I didn't have any pain that I recall. Um, on the other hand, Pigeon has wide feet and she found these very painful. So if you have wide feet, this might not be a good option for you. Um, the holographic materials, like the holographic and the rose gold, are pretty stiff and they don't have much give. Um, and actually most of the material, since it is synthetic, is quite stiff. So if you're between sizes, I would definitely err on the edge of the bigger size. Just give yourself some more room in these boots because they are pretty stiff. Um, all right, so who would I recommend the Impala Roller Skate to? I would absolutely recommend this skate to beginners on a budget. So if you are just dipping your toe into the roller skate waters and you don't know if you wanna get all the way in yet, then the roller skate is a great skate. I call it the gateway skate. It's something that rolls good enough and functions good enough and looks good enough that you feel like you're a part of roller skating. You feel the wind in your hair. You get the freedom in your heart and the sparkle in your eye. And then you must never stop skating. And then you buy your new, bigger, better pair of skates. And that's why this entry price point skate is so important in the market. It is absolutely a skate that you guys have not only been asking for for a long time, but something that's really necessary to bring new skaters in. And that's why I support the Impala as a product. And I believe it brings a lot of value because it actually makes skating accessible to people that might not be able to do it 
otherwise. I would recommend this to the fashionista. I can see somebody that just wants a different pair of skates for every outfit. I would also recommend them to kids with growing feet. I don't recommend this to the skater that knows this is going to be their new life. Like if you know you're gonna get these skates and wear them every single day, if you're gonna try to do a skate daily challenge or if you're trying to go to the skate park as soon as you can or if you're trying to jump over a handrail or grind a handrail or jump down a staircase as soon as you can, these skates are not going to be able to withhold that kind of impact. And even if you are successful doing that kind of skating, kudos, awesome, but they're probably not going to last you a very long time. So if you see yourself at the skate park, jumping staircases in the streets, you might want to save up and invest in a higher quality skate um, so that you don't end up buying three pairs of a less durable skate um, and just shredding through them fast, you know? So that's definitely something to consider. Um, I guess let's wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you found this review helpful and informative. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment below. I'm going to do a follow-up episode in conjunction with this on my friend Rebel, AKA Queer Girl Straight Skates' channel. And we're going to talk a bit more about the brand and their involvement in the skate community. So if that is something that interests you, then head on over to Rebel's channel where you can learn more about the skate brand. Again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit up Planet rollerskate.shop for everything you need from helmet to toe stop and until next time later skaters